to well actually hold on we have one more thing i think i'm gonna let you do more of the talking on this because i haven't had um much time to look into it yet but uh richard released an article on um how north america's greatest esports brand became a nightmare i'll give you uh two chances to guess who it is okay yeah you're trying uh (laughs) thorin evil geniuses living evil uh richard has put together a beautiful article on the topic basically people will know that the saga goes like this because EG was obviously quite bad in CSGO for like three years now, obviously everyone pointed out over and over and over again, wow, they're not good. We'd all heard the stories. BC and Cirque made loads of money. Then there was that whole thing with Kassad was going to join because they were trying to recruit new people. Not only did he not join, but this all began when they just disrespect that person called uh, GamerDoc, who's the senior director of, of performance at EG, just openly insulted Kassad and revealed some shit he'd said in an interview. So all of us decided, you know what, fuck this org. So we started looking into it and then there was a whole thing that happened in League of Legends where also it turned out last year in League of Legends like the org had fucked around with how a young player in their team and mistreated him in a way that actually potentially medically damaged him so basically everyone was on the trail of EG stuff but most people probably thought it ends with the League of Legends story of that guy getting wrecked etc no no because what essentially the tr- what I found when I dug into that story was it wasn't that was just an in- the worst incident well, the real problem in EG is the structure of the people at the top of the org amazingly it's actually a whole bunch of women in this case because it's a woman called Nicole Point Jameson and then she herself hired like someone called Jessica or something and then this gamer duck person is also a woman so it's also a weird thing by the way where they seem to only hire other women and then give all the power to the women so it's actually also by the way you know when people do that thing like ah, without men there'd be no war well here's a bunch of women running an organisation which A is in a game that's a proxy for war and B this is business so now that there's no men you'll all be doing a great job oh what's that it's total nepotism and corruption and you've all shit the bed a million ways and what this article series points out Samler is I've told you this premise before when you get to the level me and Richard do not just the level of your craft but people know that you tell the truth people know that you can protect a source people know that you fight against people that you think are doing unjust things dude people come to you at that point in time you aren't the journalist on the beat you're like searching for a story what's going on here it's more like you're like a fucking like Knights Templar character and someone comes to you like hey I'm being assaulted like you have to help me and then you're like right this will not stand like we have to go out there and you know deliver justice the king's justice or whatever so basically what happened was I got sent holy fuck like the mother lord of EG stuff mate I got a guy who sent me so much stuff and then some other sources came along as well but the problem was it wasn't my type of story like I'm not in the investigative journalism world I did the other one partly because fuck them because of the Cassad thing and also because in League right. of Legends no one had gotten to the bottom of that story and I decided right if no one else is going to do it I've heard some mad sus things so I'll I'll do it I'll be the one that fucking gets the pickaxe and starts digging right but in this case I know Richard's available so I just this is one of those stories I forward to Richard and the amount of info was incredible. Like, mate, all I'll tell you, the reason why this article's fire and it's part one is because there was so much info and it wasn't just like hearsay. Like, and then I said, this dude... I won't say what medium, but they had like the fucking group messages of the people in question, what they were saying and what they were doing. Oh, it was amazing. This doc, I remember reading it and just being like, mate... Sadly, this is essentially, it's just an org story. It's not about like the players. So I'm not going to do it. But I remember thinking if Richard actually looks into this, he's going to have some fucking amazing. So I actually think, by the way, part one already has had some gems in. Like, for example, if you read through, stuff happens like this Jessica woman literally was saying to people in the org, yeah, your actual main mission here is just to protect the CEO, not even to win in the game. And then also, here's a detail if you haven't noticed, guys. When you read Richard's article, part one, it's only part one, guys. In part one, he numbers the sources that are telling him stuff. Dude, at one point, he's up to source number six. So all I'm going to say is, just buckle up, because if you hear EG, this is going to be like fucking schadenfreude of one million. It's going to be amazing. Like, There's so many stupid stories. And by the way, I'll just throw some of the in there. It was said behind the scenes from the league side, if you want to know what clowns EG are as. Think about how whack this is, Semler. You know, in the modern day, even org owners and CEOs want to, like, flex on Twitter and banter people and ratio them and all that shit. Apparently, the woman who's the CEO of EG, this was a story that came out last year, not to do with this one, she would literally go into a group chat where their social media team were coming up with tweets for the Evil Geniuses account. And if a joke was really good, she would just take it and put it on her Twitter account as her tweet. That's the world we live in, mate. Isn't that insane? So think about that. That's like someone dunking on you and they didn't even write the tweet. What? It's mental, isn't it? 
is so mental. So just if you if you if you've been following this story, Richard's got it all, but he's just drip feeding you right now. He's gonna keep giving you the little another article. Another, it's so good, so good. I'm loving it. It's 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 mainly worth reading for comedic purposes, by the way, just to see how fucked up the org is and all the crazy shit they do and all the ego. It's not really like it's not like the Matrix story. It's not like some massive thing that's gonna change the world. But I thought it was very interesting reading those. So you'll it'll just blow your mind that like a giant org with all those millions of dollars can run this way. You'll think you'll think it's mega amateurish when it is. It just is, mate. It just is, and to me, this just speaks of what the future holds. Oh, it does, yeah. This is this is all we can expect down the line, lads. This is all. Oh, and by the way, expect. I'll tell you this right We're now, Sam. We have more and more of these situations crop. This up. is even the lesson, sadly, from this as well. I'll tell you that it's a dark conclusion, but you have to take it. The lesson from this is this, Samler. Everyone should hire female CEOs because you just don't get the same level of critique when you do the same thing wrong. Reginald from TSM, mate. You'd think he was like the devil, the way they treat him in League of Legends now. This woman can do worse things. She can ruin a player's life, potentially. Never get the same abuse. Never have the same people calling her out by name. In fact, you might not know this, but in League of Legends, it was even worse, dude. The conclusion they came to as a way to put the genie back in the bottle was that, yeah, it was kind of bad at EG, but it was mainly a systemic issue just in esports anyway. That's the conclusion they get. Because if they didn't, Samla, they would have to focus on who did the crime, who did this to this person. And in this case, it was just a woman, unfortunately. And even worse than that, she was the one who checked a lot of boxes that people weren't checked. So oh, as a result, go. the one thing they couldn't in their brains allow is that she was in some way responsible. So sadly, in a way, Samla, this is actually sort of like what's going to come in esports. What will happen is they'll hire people who are from protected classes to be, by the way, this already happens in politics, guys, to it be the person who, who, I mean. who fumbles and does the thing wrong or delivers the bad news, but you won't be allowed to critique them because when you do, they'll go, oh, you're always critiquing women or something. And that'll just be the, that'll be the shield forever. So that this will sadly be the way it goes. But luckily, as long as there's Richard Lewis and people like that there, at least we'll get some funny stories. We'll get some of the bullshit will come out. Listen, at this point, dude, it is just a matter of sitting back, <laughs> sitting back, uh, tipping a cold one back and enjoying the show. Because uh, there's going to sure. be so many more of these, and not yep. just in esports, but everywhere. This is just going to be the new trend of Absolutely. how things go. So, uh, but okay, okay. Read it if you get a chance. Obviously, the link is going to be del below down in the description. And uh, I'm sure if you're watching this, you're probably uh, you're probably following. Although maybe not. I don't know. If I read Reddit, it seems like every Richard fan has stopped watch has stopped listening to this show. So uh, you know, fair enough. Uh, maybe you aren't going to miss it, but you are following Richard to begin with. So you're in the good. All right. Do you reckon? It, I think it's a good time to get into some questions by subscribing on Discord. There is an active Discord channel for Last Free Nation. There's loads of people commenting all the time. But if you want that extra little step of notoriety, you can support us directly there by subscribing, and that it goes directly towards Last Free Nation. That goes directly towards supporting the show, and you also get to ask a question each week for Revenge by the Numbers. Now, Revenge by the Numbers right now isn't happening on a week to week basis, but um, obviously the questions gather up. If you have a question, throw it in there, and we will answer it when we get into the next show. See more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.